Madam Chair, distinguished representatives, my name is Dr. Patrick Wolf, and I'm Professor of Education Reform and 21st Century Chair in School Choice at the University of Arkansas. I've spent the past 14 years evaluating private school choice programs across the country. I'm happy to be with you this morning to discuss House Bill 1897, the Parental Choice Scholarship Proposal. I testify in support of the bill, not because I am an advocate of school choice, but because I am an advocate of education programs with a clear track record of success. Private school choice programs have such a record. Nine different research teams have conducted 12 rigorous evaluations of these types of programs over the past 17 years. Eleven of those studies have reported at least some positive findings and no negative results from private school choice. People who claim there is no evidence that opportunity scholarship or voucher programs work clearly are not paying attention. For example, the Opportunity Scholarship Program in Washington, D.C. produced $2.62 in benefits for every dollar spent on it. That was the major finding from a follow-up study I completed based on the results of the official U.S. Department of Education evaluation of the program, which I led. The OSP increased the high school graduation rate of students by 12 percentage points if they were lucky enough to win the annual scholarship lottery. Scholarship winners had the chance to attend any of the more than 60 private schools in the district participating in the program. Since 3,738 students won scholarships during the trial period, and the older students among them graduated from high school at a higher rate than their peers who lost the lottery, we can forecast that 421 extra students walked across the stage, mortar boards atop their heads, as a result of private school choice in the nation's capital. The OSP pilot project cost taxpayers $70 million. Graduating from high school instead of dropping out produces lots of financial benefits to students and society, including higher lifetime earnings, more taxes paid, and a reduced likelihood of unemployment, incarceration, or welfare dependency. Multiplying the total number of additional graduates because of the OSP by the total value of a high school diploma yields a total benefit of more than $183 million. Dividing those benefits by the cost yields the overall return from the program of $2.62 for every dollar that was invested. There you have it, a federal government program that actually saves money. <laughs> Washington, D.C. is not the only U.S. city to boast a private school choice program with proven performance. Milwaukee hosts the oldest and largest urban school choice initiative, the Milwaukee Parental Choice Program. My research team confirmed that the program increases the rates of high school graduation, college enrollment, and persistence in college by six to seven percentage points. Students also score higher in reading as a result of the MPCP. Harvard University studies of a private school choice program in New York City similarly found that African American students had higher test scores and enrolled in college at higher rates if they won the school choice lottery. Students who attend private schools using government-funded scholarships are, on average, more disadvantaged than the typical public school student, and thus dramatically more disadvantaged than the average private school student. Let's take a quick look at the students who participated in the DC Opportunity Scholarship Program beginning in 2004. Over 99% of them were African American or Hispanic American. Their average annual family income was $17,000. Only 6% of the mothers of participating students had college degrees. Over 17% of the participating students had a diagnosed disability. As John Witte, the first evaluator of the Milwaukee Parental Choice Program writes, and I'm quoting here, the evidence is overwhelming that voucher programs do not accrue the best and the brightest kids. In fact, it is the opposite. They attract more disadvantaged students out of the public schools. Moreover, study after study of both government-funded and tax credit scholarship programs has shown that public schools deliver better educational results for their students when they face competition from private school choice. Of 20 rigorous studies of the competitive effects of private school choice on public schools, 19 of them document that competition led to an increase in student performance. <coughs> Accountability from parents who vote with their feet for the kinds of schools that are a good fit for their children are the clear reason that competition from private school choice generates a rising tide that lifts all boats. 
The positive effect of private school choice on achievement in the public schools is important because typically only about 7 to 10 percent of the students eligible for private school choice programs participate in the initial years. If this bill is enacted, the overwhelming majority of Arkansas students will remain in traditional public schools. But those students who do switch from public to private schools will be the students who were a poor fit for their assigned school and didn't want to be there, such as Virginia Walden Ford's son. Cities and states across the country are benefiting from programs that help students attend the private schools of their parents' choosing. The research evidence indicates that a private school choice program would be a good deal for the students in our own state of Arkansas. Madam Chair, this concludes my formal testimony, and I'm available.